Okay, guys. Welcome back. We got ourselves Judge Jamma in the house. Banana slam jam. We got a Overwatch case for a offlane Rubik that is feeding. Let's check this one out. The items seem reasonable. Items seem reasonable here. Regeneration. Just in case the music's copyright. Okay. Stole some abilities. Looks like he's trying. Okay. Okay. We can't see his like K to D or anything. He has the same items as he did in the previous clip. Okay, that doesn't look like he's intentionally feeding. He's like stealing some spells. His whole team's dead already. Okay. You know what vibe I get from this game? This game looks like one of those games where he's playing solo queue and he's queued into a party of four and they're all just really upset that they lost this game. Okay. Submit resolution. Not guilty. Griefing or abusive behavior, not guilty. God, what is wrong with this community, dude? Judge Jamma rests his case on that one. We got another one, guys. We got another one. You can open scoreboard with your hockey. Oh, can you? Okay. Honestly, that Rubik did nothing sus in those clips, so if they didn't time it right, that's fine. Wraith King is feeding. So he is 1, 2, and 6 at 20 minutes. And he just TP'd into four heroes and died. Okay, that was definitely sus. Maybe we got ourselves our first guilty verdict here. They're up by 5,000 gold. He's just at their tier two. Dive. Dude! We actually have our first guilty ruling. Dude. This is a momentous occasion. They're just winning by 7,000 gold. They're actually just winning the game. Holy shit, I feel like I am contributing to the community. For the first time in my career. Dude, we have to fast forward through all these markers of him feeding. I mean, we've seen enough. Okay, it's allowing me to submit my resolution. Guilty, my friend. Guilty. Hammer smacked on the gavel or whatever. Fuck you, Wraith King and ruining the game. They were winning too! That's even like the worst type. They were winning. Cheating? Ah, he deserves it, whatever. He fucking deserves it, guys. I mean, like, if he goes to prison for two years in like real life, does it matter if the if the like the, the prison sentence is exactly what he did as long as the punishment fits the crime? I, I feel like the punishment fit the crime there. He definitely did it. He definitely did it. Okay, we got a bad in off lane who is griefing. Okay, let's check this out. So, is he the one that died already? He did die. Okay, and he's dragging creeps. Wait. So he's a four position. But it says he's a off lane. But he's mid now. He's trying to support. Okay, he's supporting. Okay, he's just supporting the Ember. Okay. This is good, okay. Make sure the Ember needed help under tower. Okay, let's say he's defending top. Okay. okay, he's just trying to pressure the Ursa. Okay, he's pressuring. Okay. So here's actual BSJ with the research. Okay, guys. Hear me out. 
I actually believe that this case is insufficient evidence. Because based on the proximity, they are not in the same party. Right? Lycan and Abaddon are not in the same party. So my theory, hear me out, my theory is that this Lycan is the problem. You guys are seeing this, right? I didn't even have to look at his items to know that this Lycan is the problem. So this Abaddon marked off lane, and this Abaddon got his lane stolen by a guy that wins Boots Double Branch. So yes, maybe this Abaddon didn't handle it the best, but if we pull up the next timestamp, Lycan is now jungling, and Abaddon is attempting to lane top. Abaddon is actually attempting now to lane top. And then in the next clip, he actually tries to kill this Ursa, despite everything that's gone wrong in this game. So, I actually think, all things considered, this Abaddon did some sort of, I'm going to sit mid, Ember's probably party queuing with Lycan, and said, you better give me my fucking lane, or your own friend gets it. He's holding a pistol up to his friend and says, your friend's gonna get it, buddy. And then his Lycan finally backs off, and Abaddon gets his lane. And then he kills an Ursa three levels ahead of him. I feel like this is a stand-up member of the Dota 2 community, and I'm gonna say not guilty. I know that may be a questionable ruling to some of you out there, but I feel like I actually believe that was not guilty, despite going to mid lane. Because he did it for one wave. He did it for one wave. I've seen far worse, and then he proceeded to play the game. So, you know what, buddy? Probably had a series of shitty games and like and griefed your game. So that is, that is the questionable ruling, but I also believe it is a reasonable ruling. So, looks like that is it for the Overwatch cases. It seems like it gives you three at a time. Okay, guys. Honestly, I feel like if people actually watched the full thing, they wouldn't rule that guilty. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. I legit don't think he's guilty. But okay, guys, I do need to go to bed. I have casting in like five hours. So If you liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel, all that shenanigans, because at the end of the day, YouTube does care about that. You may not care about it. I may not care about it, but the YouTube algorithm does. So please do.